Hi everybody! I am glad to be practicing with you today. We are going to do a yin practice that is designed to stimulate our kidney and bladder lines. So we'll be working with the meridians. So I invite you and encourage you, if you don't know about the meridians, to do some research and some self-discovery to really Learn the meridians in the body and how they influence both our physical and our psychological health. So today we're going to begin in Sphinx Pose. So come to your hands and knees and then go ahead and lay down on your mat. Bring those elbows underneath those shoulders. Make sure the, sho the toes are untucked and you're pressing into the top of the feet. So much that you feel a lifting here in the kneecaps. Really lift the heart up and pull it through the arms as if there's a gate here. Roll those shoulders down and away from the ears and settle in and breathe deeply here. A beautiful steady breath that will guide you through your practice today. Continuing to breathe here and doing your best to stay in stillness. Continuing to pull that heart forward, really pressing those feet into the mat. Breathing deeply. If you feel the be body beginning to drop, really lifting it back up, pressing those elbows into the mat, pressing those feet into the floor, pulling that heart forward. And we'll slowly release down into crocodile pose. So you can bring those arms in front, kind of stack them a bit, set the forehead on the hands. And really let everything relax. 
and just let go completely into the mat below you. And feel that rebound sensation happening in the lower back as it has an opportunity to rest here. And all the energy in the blood can flow through this part of the body, refreshed and renewed. And as you're ready, we can bring those hands towards the lower ribs and press ourselves up into a tabletop here. And then we're going to come into a seat, into a saddle pose here. So we're going to take a block and if it feels right, we can set a block here between our hips. Or even perhaps you can take a bolster if you want and do this here as well. So this will just elevate the pelvis up here. So you have options. So you can sit here on a bolster or on a block. It's really up to you. Palms are gonna come on the thighs. We're gonna bring that lower belly up and in, creating a container for that pranic energy to move through. We'll orbit the breath here, orbit the energy here. So we'll inhale. And we'll exhale through the nose. And imagine on those inhalations that it comes in through the nose and draws all the way down into the tailbone. And then those exhalations move back up the spine and out the nose. So really orbiting the breath and orbiting the energy in this way. And as you begin to play with the sensation of orbiting your energy in this way, begin to pause at the bottom and at the top of that breath. Really staying focused on the breath here. And feeling into that energy as you orbit and move it through the body.
And as you're ready, we're going to come forward onto our hands and our knees. And we're going to take this bolster and we're going to bring it forward here. And we're going to come down onto the belly. So the bolster can go the length, um, the width of the mat here. And the bolster is here to support you as we move into seal pose. So really resting from right below the chest here. The arms are extending in front of us, nice and long. And just like we did in Sphinx Pose, we're going to press the top of the feet into the mat to lift the knees here. And roll the shoulders down away from the ears. Make sure that that spine is extending all the way up through the neck. I personally have a tendency to tip my head back here. And a lot of these poses we do. So really trying to extend the spine by gently tucking that chin. Press those feet into the mat and breathe. A beautiful steady breath. Remembering that as we stay in these poses for long periods of time, it's easy to, to almost relax into them. And that's okay in a sense, but we really want to maintain the structure of the pose. So really make sure those shoulders are rolled down and those feet are actively pressing into the mat here. And doing our best to stay in a place of stillness. To really allow this posture to, to do what it's meant to do for the body. And as you're ready, we're going to walk up and bring those hands underneath the body. And we'll come back to a seat. And we're going to come here to Baddha Konasana or Butterfly Pose. So bring those feet in as close as the groin as you can. Let those knees fall wide here. If you want to use the bolster here, you can. You can kind of bring this forward and, and let the hands kind of fall here as we come forward. <clears throat> Here we want to focus on really breathing into the back body. So imagine you could feel the back of the lungs up here so much that the buoyancy here could lift the back of those lungs up away from the heart space. Continue to breathe into the back of the body so much that it almost feels like there's an expansion taking place between your shoulder blades and at the back of the heart and all four sides of the heart really. And if you have space to go deeper, feel free to go deeper here. Doing our best to keep that spine extending so we're not really rounding down here. We're still lifting and extending. And if that means you have to stay a little more elevated, then stay elevated to support that back. Breathe into the body, listen to the body, and allow the body to guide you into the accurate depth of the posture for yourself.
Continuing with that deep, steady breath here and doing our best to stay present in the moment. Sometimes when we're holding poses for an extended period of time, the mind likes to wander. So if you notice that happening, just bring the mind back to the breath, back to the present moment together. Beautiful, steady, deep breath. And when you're ready, we'll come up. And we're going to extend our left leg on here. Coming into half of a butterfly. Extend that spine and then we're going to fold forward. And if this is too deep, you always have an option to, to lift the bolster up with a block to give yourself more support. So really do whatever you need to be supported here. And as you settle in, stay with that nice, easy breath. Continuing to work on orbiting that energy. So on the next inhale, we'll inhale that breath and that energy down the spine. And on the exhale, we'll orbit it up and out. Really focusing on moving the breath and allowing that breath to assist in moving the energy. One more breath here. Next inhale, we'll engage the core as we lift up. Bring that left foot in back to that butterfly and then extending that right leg out. Switching sides, lift that spine up nice and tall, and when you're ready, folding forward. Continuing with that steady breath as you're orbiting it through the body. Really staying present in the moment here. Make sure that spine is extending. And as you're ready, on an inhale, engage the core and lift up. And we're going to bring the bolster behind us as we set up for a counter pose, which is going to be reclined butterfly. So really pull that bolster in tight to the lower lumbar spine. Those feet are going to stay in that butterfly pose here and use the hands as you assist and allow the back to really fall over this bolster 
the shoulders are going to fall open and the palms are going to face up here. So the body is really just falling open, the hips, the back, the shoulders, the arms. And we're going to settle in here for a counter pose. Breathing into the, fun, the front of the body now. And really allow those exhales to soften the body, to soften the belly, and to soften the chest. Notice what you're feeling here and become aware of all those sensations that are taking place inside of your body. Stay aware if there's thoughts coming into the thinking mind and let them pass as quickly as they came without judgment or attachment to what's coming. And I know this feels amazing, but as you're ready, we're going to make our way up. So bring the hands to the knees, lift those knees up, and let's just do a gentle windshield wiper here. Knees falling to the left and the right. Just a few times like this. And then we'll drop the knees, both of the knees over to one side. Breathing here. Come back to center and let those knees drop over to the opposite side. And then coming back to center. Use those arms as support, or if you want to roll to the side as we lift up and we come to a seat. And let's take the bolster so it's next to us. And we'll extend those legs out long. So we're gonna seated staff pose, remove the excess flesh here, extend those legs, flex those feet. And we're gonna take the bolster here and we're going to set it on the legs and we're going to lift that spine up and we're going to pull forward and if you need a bit more of a lift here you can even use a block on whichever variation feels right for you and pull forward you need a little bit more space if you have that flexibility you can create some space here but wherever you are just settling in however you need to get comfortable. And naturally the spine is going to round a little bit here, but do your best to try to keep it extending. Nice steady breath. Continuing to orbit that breath. And let's use those inhales to pull that energy down the spine to the tailbone and the exhales to wrap it around and breathe it out.
That's the body. Coming up the other side of the spine. And if space is being created, feel free to move into that space. A few more breaths. And then when you're ready, engage that core as we inhale and lift up. We're going to take this bolster again off to the side and make our way onto our backs here. Gonna roll these shoulders open here. The arms are gonna extend out long, palms are facing up. And we're gonna go, let's lift this right leg up and roll this thigh out here. Lift that left leg up, roll this thigh out here. Flex those feet for a moment, even clench those fists. We're gonna tighten all of those muscles up here. Two breaths. And that next exhale, release it all, let it go. And let yourself gracefully fall into Shavasana here. Making sure to release that breath as well. And let it flow naturally and freely in the body. Making sure to release the muscles of the face, the eyes and the forehead. We have a tendency to clench our faces. So maybe scanning the body and noticing if there's anywhere that you're still holding and let go. And slowly begin to deepen your breath. And bringing some gentle movement to the fingers, the toes, the ankles and the wrists. If it feels right, extend those arms above the head, taking a full body stretch from the fingertips to the toes. Really reaching, extending the full stretch of the day. And then 
then making your way onto either the left or the right side, using that bottom arm as a pillow for a moment. And gently pressing your way back up into that comfortable seat. Keep those eyes closed if it feels right for you. Returning to a nice extended spine here. And on an inhale, inhaling those hands to your heart center. Bringing those hands into a point of balance. The left side of the body is that feminine side, those gentle, calm aspects of ourselves, nurturing and loving and compassionate. The right side of the body is that masculine, that anal analytical driving force. And so when we bring our hands together in front of the heart, we are uniting our masculine and our feminine energies. And we are bringing them to balance. So with these hands at a point of balance, we're going to inhale them up to our third eye center. Bringing that balance to our point of clarity. The next exhale is going to bring the hands to the lips, bringing that balance to our words and bringing that balance to our truth. And the next exhale, we'll exhale those hands back to the heart, bringing balance to our love and bringing balance to our heart. And from this place of balance within me, I recognize, honor, and appreciate the teacher, the light, and the divine within each of you and within all things. Namaste, my friend.